My name is Bob and I'm the owner of PhotoPlayingCards.com. It's pretty hard to figure out what kind of quality my cards have just by looking at my website. So I thought I'd show you a little bit on this demo here. And I've taken a, a brand new deck of bicycle playing cards and a, a couple days ago I did all sorts of experiments with these. I put just about everything I could think of on them. I put some pop, some pancake syrup, peanut butter and jelly, vinegar oil, vinegar, or vegetable oil, vinegar, ketchup, and even this uh, terpenol or terpenoid natural oil. It's pretty powerful stuff there. And as you can see, these cards don't hold up very well with any kind of liquid. Uh, these are coated plating cards, but there's quite a bit of difference in the quality of coatings. Usually when people say that their cards are coated, it means that they've coated them with some sort of a, a liquid that has some solids suspended in it. Like uh, maybe some solvent with some particles of plastic. And after the solvent evaporates, you've got this coating of particles that acts kind of like sand. You know, it's a solid, but it's porous enough that liquids can go through it. Uh, my cards are actually laminated. I coat the cards with a thin coating of plastic, and instead of a bunch of particles, this is a solid sheet that forms a barrier against any kind of liquid. So the same things that I put on these cards, I put on this sheet of plastic coated playing cards that I make with the lamination process. And after letting them sit for 20 minutes or so, I wipe this off and uh, there were some things like the syrup that I had to wipe off with a damp cloth. But as you can see, there's really no effect on this. Uh, the plastic coating that I have is much stronger and it prevents seepage of any kind of liquid. Uh, it would be pretty easy for me to, to cheat on a test like that. So. I'm going to do this again right in front of you. Here's that terpenoid stuff. And I'm going to put a little of that on here. And I'm going to put some on my playing cards. And I'm going to take a, another playing card and take this magic marker. And this is a permanent marker put it on both my cards and there's in fact uh, let's make this a little bit more interesting and instead of just coating uh, instead of doing this the same way I did before I'm going to take this Scott Bright it's a, a very coarse uh, material and I'm going to scratch up one of my cards first as you can see, I'm, I'm really scratching this thing up. There's, you really can't see much of a difference. If, if you held it in your hand, you can see that it's kind of scratched up, but it's not as bad as it would be with these regular playing cards. And put the magic marker in. With a regular playing card, I scratch it up. Just a few seconds and you can see that there's quite a big difference. So uh, if I try to rub this it, it really doesn't come off. Uh, 
put just a little dab of oil on it. And get a paper towel. And the supposedly permanent marker comes right off. You know, let's try it with vegetable oil. I didn't try this before with the, the scratching. I think the, the scratching is making it sink in a little bit more so it's not coming off quite as easy as it did when I tried it with a, an unscratched card. But you can see that it is coming off. And because of the depth of the scratches, uh, I might not be able to get this all off without working at it. Uh, as you can see, the, the card that was not scratched does a much better job with this test. This is just vegetable oil that I'm using now and it comes right off. So there's one of the big differences in my quality versus a traditional card. And you can see that this is starting to discolor just a little bit. It might not show up real good with the camera. You can definitely see what happened over a period of time with these other cards. And any liquid that soaks in will eventually reach the, the, the paper and once it's absorbed it will uh, warp the paper 